We are fully enclosed, boys. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you guys seen probably from uh, the title and thumbnail, we're putting the upper doors on the X3. So I need a rivet gun or a hand riveter, uh, whatever you want to call it, because I guess there's two rivets you got to put in on top of the roll bar to hold one of the brackets in for, well, I guess both the brackets in for both sides for the doors. Um, I don't have one. So I'm running to town to try to find one. The wife is uh, craving some Taco Bell anyhow. So I told her I'd pick her up some uh, Taco Bell while we're in town. So what I'm doing now is I'm running to town to uh, try to find one of them riveters, rivet gun, whatever the hell it's called. And uh, we can go back and put the upper doors on the X3. So we got the hand riveter. Uh, it only costs like eight dollars. I ended up stopping at this little discount store that we got here in town, and uh, they had them. So I was like, screw it, I'll pick one up. I know my dad has one, but I mean, for eight dollars, this way I don't have to drive over there if I need it again. Um, I'll just have my own. So headed to uh, Taco Bell now. Get the wife some uh, some burritos, and then uh, head home to put this uh, upper doors on the old X3. All right, so I'm back home, just ate lunch. Um, I went ahead and threw this side on real quick, just so uh, when I do the other side, I can explain everything a little bit easier. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You could do this with literally just a ratchet and a 230 torch bit. It's really all you need. I mean, I'm using the Milwaukee uh, powered ratchet just to speed things up, but I got it on, it's all good to go. So what we gotta do on the other side is, all right, so first step is pull your pins out so you can, uh, slide the roof over so it gives you some room i'm just gonna slide this slightly off to the side <clears throat> and then this piece here sits just like this and then uh this little point right here if i'm gonna to focus anyways that's where it pivots for the door at the top of the door so it can swing open and then uh like so but anyways what you gotta do with first off there's some velcro you gotta put on the back of this piece here so when it sits up in it pinches the door up in there and kind of holds it nice and snug so let me grab the velcro which i got over on the other side and uh throw that on as you can see i put my uh velcro piece on so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna set it up top and then i'm gonna take the clico clip thing this unit that holds the roof on put it in the back so it can kind of just hold it in place you know, it's kind of hard for you guys to see but i'm trying to do this while holding the camera all right so that should hold the bracket in place and then next step is grab these little u clips that kind of hold it to the door bar there should be four for each side grab all four of these all right there's one that should go in front of the door handle um that's a lot easier with two hands but I gotta just shove it up in there, twist it down. One that goes behind the door handle. And then there's two that go towards the bag. And then uh, go ahead and grab your door. I got mine sitting over there. I'm gonna have to do this off camera just because I don't have three hands to hold it and put the door up at the same time. But I'm gonna line it up, grab, uh, here, I'll just grab the door right now. You can see the brackets on here. It's gonna sit inside the X3 like this. So take these brackets, line them up with them little U-clip things that you just put in there, and then uh, lightly just finger thread the bolts in there. They're all T30, T30 Torx bits, throw a washer on it, and then uh, just to hold it in place. And then I think the easiest thing was to grab that back Velcro strap that's on there. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then just strap her on the roll bar and it'll kind of hold everything in place. So let me go ahead and throw this up and I'll flip the camera back in. All right, as you can see, I got them all in finger tight. I mean, I can still wiggle this thing all around to move it um, if I need to. And then I went ahead and did this strap that goes around the back of the roll bar. Like I said, if you can do this one, it kind of helps it hold it into place. So that way you can just let it chill freely. Um, this strap back here, it's gonna be kind of a pain to get to. This one, undo this. 
and it just wraps around this piece of plastic right here that kind of just like covers up this hinge. Um, you can go ahead and throw that one on. And then there is one tab. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see. There's one tab. you got to take this T30 Torx out. And then the tab kind of just chills in there like that. Tighten it back down. And then uh, once you get all that stuff done, we'll go up to the top. We'll uh, Velcro all that stuff in. And then you'll have to put your rivet in up top. That's the only spot you really need a rivet, uh, hand riveter for. Other than that, it's pretty easy. I know you got to take for this piece here, you got to take this push pin out if you have... I think it's a 22 or newer. If not, there's a Torx bit there, like I have on the other side. Um, you just pop that out. This just kind of chills like this. Sits up in there, and then you put that push pin back in, and there's a spot to drill for another one. I didn't drill it on the other side. I just used a T30, and it seems to hold it pretty tight. So if this push pin uh, holds this tight enough, I'm not going to drill into there. I'll just leave it. Um, but let me show you on the other side real quick. It'll be easier to explain. Um, since I have the bent metal um, front windshield, it kind of just holds it on with these straps. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap in there. I mean, it's not perfect. I don't need it to be airtight. Um, my big thing is I just want it to be able to block some of the cold wind off me if I go riding in the winter or the colder months. Um, and then if it rains, I mean, we're not getting soaked. So this is more than good enough for me. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's not even shut all the way. If I shut it, I mean, it's pretty tight. It's not like there's going to be leaking a lot of cold air out there. Plus, uh, the back window, I mean, there's little gaps all over. So it's not going to be perfect anyhow, but it should be good enough to keep me warm, keep the wife warm uh, when it's like 8 degrees like it is out today. All right, as you can see, I popped uh, this push pin out, put one of the new ones in. I mean, it's not that great of a fit, but like I said, it's going to be good enough for uh, keeping some cold air off of me. Let me grab the step stool. Then, as you can see up here, you just take one of them T30 torques that you got, and then on the bottom side, I mean, this is kind of a pain in the ass to get to it. There's a spot to put a nut. Once you're doing it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Just put a nut down there, T30 through the top, and uh, just tighten that down for the hinge. I got my rivet in, as you can see, and then it does come with a little bit longer versions of these Clico clip things to uh, make up for the space through the roof and through this extra bracket here. So uh, let's grab them. Other than that, the only thing we have to do is tighten down all of our uh, T30s in here. It should be pretty much in a good spot. I mean, as you can see, it kind of fits all right. So let's go ahead and get the new Clico clips. You'll use the same ones in the front. The back ones uh, are the only ones that you're swapping out. They're a little bit longer. And then this is how they go. There's a little plastic washer put through first metal washer and then your little foam Johnny and then uh, I don't have one of the other ones but they uh, they're a little bit longer to make up like I said for a spot that goes through that bracket and then into the cage all right as you guys can see I got all my uh, little clips in I got the new ones in the back um, passenger door is done I mean probably gonna have to piss with it a little bit to get it fit a little bit better um i have it real tight now just so it kind of has a good seal along the top maybe no rain and stuff will get in there um i think it'll be all right though if you just have to slam the door so i think what i'm gonna do now is go ahead grab the gopro throw it on i kind of want to take it for a rip just with like a coat and a hoodie on um like you can see i got just a sweatshirt and sweatpants and stuff on right now and uh see how good it does just take it for a quick rip down the road to uh test it out but yeah we should be all good once i got the gopro on i'll flip the camera back on and uh we'll see you outside
We are fully enclosed, boys. She's pretty decent, bud. As you guys probably seen from uh, the GoPro footage, I just got back, took it for a quick rip down the road. Um, I have a coat on, a hoodie, some thin sweatpants, and <laughs> just sneakers. Um, it is like eight degrees out. It wasn't terrible. I mean, there's a little bit of air leak coming in around here. You could feel it on your hands. But I think if you had uh, like gloves on and maybe like an actual like snowmobile and coat, um, if you went for a long ride, I think you'd be a little bit more prepared than what I'm wearing now. But uh, yeah, definitely sweet. I'm glad that I got these. The dealership I got my X3 from, Renzi's Power Sports up in uh, Munising, um, if you're in Michigan. So shout out to them, shout out to Chuck and uh, Marshall. They took care of me on that. If you guys uh, need anything, you wanna make an order, give them a shout, look them up. Um, tell them you see me, <laughs> you see my videos on YouTube and uh, tell them I sent you their way. They'll probably take care of you. We got the upper doors installed. If this, uh, if this video was helpful to you guys in any way, smash that like button. It means a lot to me. It really helps out the channel. Um, if you guys want to stay up to date on the XRC build, I know I have some other stuff over there, a radio, 50 inch light bar. There's going to be some other stuff going on here. If you want to stay up to date on the build, go ahead and subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications. Until next time, guys, I am out.